We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from the rip area to the dip area here. And in today's volatility, trying to hold support above the 438 area. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 935 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up a hundred percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index continuing to hold support here and trying to retest key resistance levels we're going to talk about the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and born bear indicators but before we do I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run today was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run today was from our Tesla bot our tesla bot at 9 40 a.m sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward outflows cross the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 80 percent plus within hours guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index continuing to fight to hold support here and doing a full transition from the rip area to the dip area in today's pre-market and so far back up to dark green bars after doing a full transition on thursday from the dip area to the rip area and if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index under a bull indicator at 438.50 area it came back slightly below it and it bounced right off of it and it's fighting here to get back over 439 and stay above it and you could see it there the battle between the bulls and bears in the volatility and inflows cross back over but it's not going to only be crucial for these inflows to stay above on the 30 minute but also in the volatility of the one hour going into tomorrow. This is going to be critical and crucial, guys. Inflows have been picking up all day within the volatility, but have not crossed over the midpoint significantly. It's right there at the midpoint, sitting at 0 0.0019, nearly right there at the midpoint. And it's going to be crucial and critical for the bulls to continue reflecting any further strength into these charts for these inflows to pick up. And not just here on the one hour, but also on the 30 minute and possibly cancel out this bear indicator, 
from up here at around 440 60 area with a bull indicator in the process so definitely something i'll be watching very carefully going into tomorrow and these inflow versus outflows are going to be crucial they're back above here on the 30 minute as well and it's going to be significant for this to push up away from the midpoint to continue reflecting any further strength and hold true this bull indicator here from the 438.50 area and not just that but on the 15 minute it's been pretty volatile it's under a bear indicator here from 438.55 it definitely needs to get canceled by a possible bull indicator and continue this possible staircase effect here to the upside to go ahead and reflect any further strength here into these charts in the volatility of the 15 minute on the 30 minute as well and it's going to be crucial going into tomorrow i'm going to be watching it very carefully now what are the key levels i would watch well to the downside the first support level i'll be watching is 438 below that comes the low of the pre-market at 437 and then the next level if these outflows cross to the downside and also here on the five minute as you see it really tight range there in the volatility slightly below it and on the 15 minute it pulls back down and continues to reflect any further strength into these charts and this bear indicator goes ahead and holds true well then the next support would be the 435 area so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the downside to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to continue picking up continue this possible staircase effect here hold this bull indicator true here on the 30 minute and on the 15 minute as i stated earlier cancel off this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator get these inflows to pick up and not just that here on the 15 minute and 30 minute but also on the one hour get those inflows to start picking up and pulling away from the midpoint here as it's fighting there it's at the exact midpoint not that far off and green right now and for this to reflect any further strength and possibly cancel off this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator those inflows need to pick up on multiple time frames and especially here on the bigger picture of the one hour so i'm going to be watching that very carefully and the first resistance is 440 then above that is the highs on friday at the 442.50 area and then comes 443 and once it's up there at those levels if it even reaches it it's going to be a place to reassess and see what's going on within the volatility and also i would not ignore how a full transition happened from the rip area to the dip area today and so far we've hit dark green bars and to complete the full transition here if it continues with these inflows picking up and retesting key resistance levels the last piece missing is bright green bars and it hasn't happened yet now it's not guaranteed to but i would not ignore it as we've gotten only up to dark green and there's possibly still room here with this bull indicator holding true not getting canceled by a bear indicator and inflows picking up going into tomorrow so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and these inflow versus outflows on every single time frame here the 15 minute the 30 minute and the one hour i would not ignore them they're at critical levels really close to the midpoint every single one of them is above but really close there and green and it's going to be crucial for these inflows to pick up and pull away from the midpoint to the upside on the 15 minute the 30 minute and the one hour as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money